Welcome to Simple Security. Today I'm going to cover the five steps involved in a typical attack on a system or network. The five steps involved in a typical attack are reconnaissance, scanning, getting access, maintaining access, and covering your tracks and hiding. Reconnaissance. An attacker can use websites like Whois or Google to find out what kind of purchases the target company has made. In addition, their partnerships, business operations, their products, and schedules. This information could be used for potential social engineering attacks or finding vulnerable host servers through Google or Whois. Scanning. An attacker can use popular port scanning tools or use simple command line mechanisms like ping or traceroute to create a basic network topology of their target. Ping and traceroute will allow an attacker to see what machines are reachable and also allows them to see their position on the network. Following up those commands with specific port scanning tools like nmap and zenmap, an attacker can see which ports are open and then exploit them. Getting access. An attacker can use tools like Nessus to determine the specific vulnerabilities on each port. Then the attacker can go to an online database and find out which vulnerabilities are still out there, which are associated to your port, and then take advantage of those security holes. This can include direct application or operating system attacks, cross-site scripting, running simple scripts, or even SQL injection. Maintaining access. An attacker can drop a variety of viruses, worms, and key loggers onto a computer to maintain access. Then the attacker will make sure that once they have access to the computer, they will keep their tracks clean so that they can access it again later in the future through a backdoor using a Trojan. The attacker will continue to maintain access until the user finds out and wipes the malware. Covering your tracks and hiding. An attacker can hide behind a network proxy so that people can't see their original address. They can also utilize an active host on the target network to run all of their attacks rather than running it on their own machine outside the network. In addition, they can use covert channels that are embedded in normal traffic to hide malicious intents. Lastly, they can use tools like SMAC, which is a MAC address changer, to change their MAC address to a random one in order to hide themselves. Summary, we covered the five steps involved in a typical attack on a system or network. Reconnaissance, scanning, getting access, maintaining access, and covering your tracks and hiding.